Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Granify. Last time when we created our video on how you can uh, write SQL Server scripts with the help of ChatGPT, a lot of you asked like how uh, I installed SQL Server on Mac. So this video is going to be on that like how you can install SQL Server on your MacBook very easily and anything that's related to Microsoft. As you know, um, SQL Server directly cannot be installed on any other operating system than Windows. Of course, not in direct way. There are, of course, indirectly available. So this video is going to be dedicated to this. There are simple four step process. First, we need to install something called as Docker that will act like a container. Then we'll install SQL Server on that. Then we'll install Azure Data Studio through which we will connect to SQL Server. And then the last step will be final and last step would be connecting data studio to SQL Server so that you can write your query and do whatever you want. Let's start doing this. The first step is download dex uh, Docker desktop for Mac. I'll put all these links in the chat box so that um, you can you can do it directly. But once you click on that link, you will get something like this. It's asking me um, for two options, Docker desktop for Mac with Apple Silicon. And second is Docker desktop for Mac with Intel chip. So depending upon what configuration you are having, you can select the one. If you don't know, by default, it will be this with Apple Silicon. So let's just download this one. It might take a while to get um, it downloaded. And once that is done, you need to simply um, install it the way you install any other software. It is installed, as you could see here, right? I'll just um, um, open this one. It might take a bit. Yes, it's open now. Um, yeah, so I'm just dragging this into the applications earlier. I already had a version installed. So I'll just replace that. Um, it's around two GB or something. So it might take a while for you to, um, get these extracted. So now it is installed. Now what I have to do is I need to install, or uh, uh, I need to open Docker. So for that, let's go to Lunchpad and see where it is. Okay. Here it is. So open Docker. Again, it might take a few seconds to get loaded, but uh, should be straightforward. Perfect. So open it. Great. Accept the terms and conditions. Use recommended setting and just click finish. It will ask you for the passwords. Provide the required passwords. And then now it's asking me to take some survey. If you want it, you do it as simply click escape. Okay, you um, earlier I had already logged into it and that's why it's uh, uh, you can see here it's already written, right? If not, then you'll have to um, sign it up. Bunch of things I'm getting here like containers, um, all the running container container will be showing over here, but as I don't really have it, so nothing is shown here. You can just click on different options to see what you have. Like I don't have any bills, so nothing is showing over here. But uh, once you will have it, it will be all available. So now the first step is done. Remember our four step process in that our first step is done. So this is this is now done. All right. Now what we need to do is second is install SQL Server. So for that, what you need to do is now on the terminal, we have to start doing certain stuff. So let me let me open terminal. Okay, so this is the terminal that I am having now, right? And here I need to install SQL Server. So depending upon the version that you need to install, you can you can select it, right? I'm just putting here sudo docker pull. This is the site from where I want to install SQL Server 2022. Okay, click OK. It's asking me for password. So provide your system password here. And once done, it might uh, take a bit to install it completely. It's not very small file as you could see, right? 496.1 MB. So this might take a bit to complete the download process. So now the SQL Server is installed. Now what we need to do is we need to configure it, set up our credentials. You have to accept terms and conditions. So as we are working on terminal, um, there is the setup command that you need to do, uh, use it. I'll talk about it. Like what does that mean? So what overall we are saying is docker run command name SQL server, right? We are accepting terms and condition and then providing the, the uh, user ID and password, right? So this is your password. DB underscore password is your password and your uh, uh, user ID is SA. 
right? So with this particular user ID and password, you should be able to log into your uh, SQL server. Just remember this db underscore password and uh, sa is your uh, login name. Okay. It's just a warning, so it should be fine, right? Um, but um, um, you can check, it's basically the platform things, but uh, mostly it should work. Now we need to use this one. Okay, now let's go back to the Docker and see, do we have a container there or not? Yes, see here, we now have a container which is using 2.19% of my CPU currently, and it's currently in the active state, right? It's running, right? If you go to the images, you will find this uh, 2022 latest image downloaded already with the size of 2.28, right? It's showing created 18 days ago because last time also I created one and uh, that's why it's, uh, it's showing you the another one. But uh, see this one, this is the main thing. You have it running, you have it installed, so all good. Now what we need to do is, we need to connect SQL Server from the uh, terminal. For that you need SQL CLI, right? So let me go back to the terminal and uh, use this one again this might take uh, a bit to get it installed one warning here in case you are doing it for the first time you might encounter issues in that case you need to install node.js node.js so sql cli requires node.js to be working properly so in case you don't have it you need to install it and installation is very straightforward just search for node.js for mac and you should be able to download the file and install it the way you have installed Docker. No terminal is required. And once done, you can again click over here and done, do it. Okay, now, now what we need to do is, we need to connect to the SQL server, right? So remember our user ID and password, our user ID was SA and the password was db underscore password. So I am just connecting to it now, right? And it says connecting to localhost and done, that's it. So now you have the uh, connection setup. Now we need an interface through which we can use SQL Server. So for that, we are going to use um, Azure Data Studio, right? So let's open this. And once you scroll down, you will find it. Okay, here it is. Mac US, Universal, Intel Chip, and Apple Silicon. Right? Either you can use Universal or you can use Apple Silicon if you have the similar configuration than me. If it is Intel Chip, then yes, you might need to download the suitable version. Okay, it's installed. Again, you can uh, simply just click on it, right? And it will take a moment to, to download it, right? Here it is. It's just open for me because last time I have used it, right? In case it's not open for you, you need to, you need to provide the details. How you'll provide it? So see here, uh, maybe what I can do is I can simply delete this one so that, uh, you know, so that, uh, it's all fresh for all of us. I'll just remove all these things. I don't need this, right? So here, right? So see here, there's nothing coming for me now, right? There's nothing over there. So this is how you are going to get once you will install Azure Data Studio. So what I'll do is, I'll just click on new and new connection, right? I'm getting this kind of um, screen where we need to pull some details like connection type. It's a Microsoft SQL Server, right? We need to provide the server name. That's your local host. Remember on the terminal it was showing you. Authentication type, we will go with SQL authentication. Username is SA and password is db underscore password. So let me just directly copy paste it. Okay, here, remember password. Database, we don't have it. So in, uh, you, know, you need to enable the trust configuration and that's it. Just click on connect. Enable trust certifications and ideally it should work. See, here it is working. Now, what we can do is we have options. Either you can write a new query or you can write a new notebook, depending upon what you are looking for. So let's write new query. By default, it will go into the master database. I don't need master database. So let's say I'm saying create database with the name Gronify, right? I'll select it and just run it, done. Now let's say I'm saying use Gronify. So that database will be used now, see here. Now I can create any table, create table. Let's say I'm saying tbl underscore one and id int name, whatever, right? Let's, for the time being, just to understand if it is working or not, let's see if it's working. Yes, it worked. 
currently this table doesn't have any data so even if i do table one it won't show me anything see here but if i want to write into the table so insert into table tbl underscore one id values i don't have to do all these things but just showing you you know how if it is working properly or not so now if i'll use this i should say get a value which is of 12. right so this was a quick tutorial on how you can install microsoft sql server in your macbook with the help of docker of course this is a rea uh, reliable way and you can work anything explore the stuff and see if it is working for you i am sure like it will in case you find any difficulty please comment down and i'll be happy to help you that's for this video if you like this please subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one